Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and I am from webapphop.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 41 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully update the cart products. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on this add to cart pay, uh, button. Just look at here. When I click on it, nothing is going to happen here. But when I click on here, so this product uh, added into our cart pay, uh, cart uh, pages. Okay, so it is working when I click on here. So just look at here, one product added, and that that is this one. Okay, but when I want to see this detail and press the add to cart, then nothing is going to happen here. So we need to put our one condition here to add this product into the cart so first of all just look at here this is our electronic function right and this is our product detail page okay so now we are going to open our pro detail page here it is okay so here we in, uh, echo one function like pro details so we are going to function.php and first of all uh, electronics yeah just because we need to check what is the name of our card yeah here it is just look at here its name is card btn so we need to give the exact name on our pro detail page to our card button so find out the card button yeah here it is just look at here so we need to give the name like cart btn okay and then we also need to one input field which is hidden just look at here electronics yeah just look at here here is a one field which is hidden so we need to copy this one from here and going to our pro detail page or oh, function then find out here it is so here we are going to paste it that code okay so variable is same so we doesn't need to remove this uh, one from here so i think now we need to echo that function like uh, anywhere into our pro detail function like echo just look at the name of that function yeah here is uh, this is the our function name add cart okay so add cart okay so now let's check it again so when i want to add this uh, when i want to see this product detail and then when i click on here so just look at here now now just look at here Two products are added successfully into our cart okay so just look at here the same product which will uh, available into product detail page let's try to add this one into our cart okay so now when I click on this one this one so just look at here three product and just look at here all the same products are coming from here okay so now um, we need to change something here okay just look at here this is the related products okay but this product also available from here but we doesn't need to display this product from here so how can we remove that so simply going to the related products yeah here it is here it is just look at here and here we need to give the name like where pro id is not equal to dollar pro id okay and give the end condition okay oh not like that the explanation sign before the equal to okay so pro id not equal to this one okay let's check the pro id variable which is available into our pro yeah here it is just look at here 
flow id variable is available here so we need to target that variable into our query and say do not display that product here which cart id uh, product id is this one okay so now let's try to refresh this one okay just look at here so now that product will not be displayed from here when i click on this one and check out this just look at here this product doesn't display from here so here is the thing you can uh, display particular category products here but not that product which is already available into our product page just look at here so guys I think this is enough for today if you guys are have any question in your mind then comment below and if you if you like this video then like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel and just because when I upload a new videos then you can get the information directly into your inbox so guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks a lot for watching guys goodbye